Well, hello, this is Apostle Lisa Graves, and welcome to my world, Spiritual Walkers. Glad you're here. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please like this video and comment and share it. On the other video, we were just talking about um, the alchemist, okay, and we were talking about um, how we can stir up things and put things in a one pot and begin to um, use that as a result of us, what? Bringing something old into new, okay? So that's what Richards did, and that's what Warlocks did, and they mixed their stuff, and that's what a chemistry do. A chemist, we mix things together. So let's, how does that refer to our lives? Even when we wake up in the morning, we wake up to a new state. So we leave the old state, transmute while we sleep into a new state when we wake up, okay? We take everything that we've learned from the past, transmute it into learning what everything we've learned and experienced in our present time. We take all of those things and we transmute it into a better state. So that's what makes you an alchemist and that's why you are an alchemist in your day. And so go look at the other video and get the heads up on what I said because I don't know, my video kept cutting off, so I'm hoping I can get through this video for some odd reason. But you all realize that you are alchemists in your day. You're the greatest alchemist. You're the walking miracle, that you are the creator miracle in your life. And you can take everything you've learned, everything you've experienced, and bring it into a new, you know, mix it all together and bring it into a new state of being in your life. So those things that you experience, everything that you've learned and grew from and knowledge, you mix it. Even the new things, you mix it with the old. And then you come up with a what? With a, um, with some medicine <laughs> to make the circumstances better, okay? Situations better, to make your life better, okay? So you've learned and experienced things in your past and whatever you've learned in your present time and the new, you take and you put a little bit of that in there, a little bit of that. I learned how to do this. I figured out how to do it. Oh, I experienced this. Oh, well, today I've learned this. I'm going to mix all that together. And you come up with something new. That's how the creator is. And that's who you are, the creator himself, who acclimated you into a creator. And matter of fact, he mixed dirt and everything in order to make us into humans, right? And I like to call us humanoids, but that's what we are today. So we have been acclimated from those central minerals and central herbs that is from the ground. That's where we come from, right? So we have been acclimated into this humanoid form, as God would say, image of him. So guess what? You're making very great images of yourself from the old, from what you've learned, been taught into a new, higher image of yourself. So take that, learn from it, and grow and mix it all together, you alchemists. Okay, you are a spiritual walker. That's why you're called spiritual walkers. For my term, spiritual means being of spiritual things. And when we think about spiritual things, they're all one. They all come together and they make us great. So be that, become that, know that you are that, okay? And love being that. Don't let anyone dehumanize you to saying, calling you anything, what you, see, they call you witch or warlock. Guess what? Thank them. That means you've been, you're an alchemist. Thank them for letting you know that you're a chemistrist. You're a chemist. You're a scientist that you can transform and transcend things above its situation. That you can turn a gloomy, bad day into a great, happy day. You richery oh you. <laughs> you scientist chemistry oh you. In other words, you can acclimate your chemistry and acclimate everyone else's chemistry. When you walk in a room, you change things. You acclimate it into something good. Or you can acclimate it into something bad if you like. That's your gain. But what do you gain from it? Maybe something. But let it benefit everyone. Okay? So, I want to throw that in there too. Because that can happen at times. That we may have to 
do some things to make some things move, okay, for the better of everyone. And sometimes that might be, you know, Jesus use it. God today use it. He'll take a bad circumstances to bring you into a good circumstance. So, you know, it's the better of us all, right? So, even in that aspect, don't look at nothing bad or good. Let Look at it as it is what it is, okay? So, as it grew it as it can be, it is what it is. And as good as it can be, it is what it is. And you're the alchemist. You're to take something and everything that you've learned, everything that you know, and turn it into something gold and silvery and beautiful, okay? That's what it's all about, ladies and gems. So, remember that an alchemist is no more than a scientist, a chemist, an artist, an engineer, an actress, whatever that is to you, okay? Financial, uh, a, you know, therapist. You're transmuting everyone's lives into something better, whatever you do and share. And remember, it's affecting you the most greatest of them all as you do use these things um, uh, that you have learned. Everything, you know, is to raise another conscious. It's helping you to become aware and, and more conscious aware of who you are and everything you experienced that made you who you are. And sometimes you all, it can look like sometimes you can just seem like a bad person. But you know what? As they say, some things got to get worse before it becomes good. So if you're in a worse state and you're emotionally over bearing right now to other people, even maybe to yourself, remember, you may be in your lowest form of emotions and it may not look too good, but remember sometimes an alchemist or a chemistry has to blow up some things, tear down some things. Even Jesus done, even God does that with us today. Let's just say that. The universe, sir, source, he does that with us today. You see, he brings us to a place to where guess what? that we can become better, okay? So it's all about becoming the better version and to bring everything and everyone into a better version, all right? We remember, we are all connected. So all of our chemistry, okay, connects all of us. So when you see herbalists and scientists and pharmaceuticals and stuff, putting stuff together, remember, they're becoming alchemists. They are alchemists. As you are too, as you look on and see them make something that is seen to be little significantly nothing into something very greatly significantly into something. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying, okay? But I thank you for coming here and looking on with me. Again, subscribe to this channel, okay? Like this video. Okay, and and make a comment. Let me know what you think, what what you feel about this alchemist thing, you know, being an alchemist, you know, the anointed one. That's what anointing really is, is, you know, being anointed, you know, into being able to transform and move and navigate and make things happen great in your life and the anointing that, 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 uh, that, uh, that the chosen, as they want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter. It's all the same. The alchemist is nothing more than someone who's anointed to change things. He also said that the anointing is what transforms. It changes. It moves things. Do you know that's what an alchemist does? It transforms. It moves. It takes one thing to, from one state to an, an alternate into another state. That's what the anointing does. It changes things. And so you are that exact thing, that alchemist that changes things into something great and bigger than, than you yourself and yourself and the earth and everyone in it. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited to know that you will embrace that alchemist side of you. That part that we would call the anointing. That part that we would call mystical and magical and miracle in your lives. 
And I thank you. Again, Apostle Lisa Grace, again with you right here facilitating at the Spiritual Walkers channel. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up, okay? And again, share and comment on this video. Let everybody know who we really are. They kept it a secret. They made it seem to be very bad and dangerous. Because even in the movies, they try to make it seem so horrifically terrible. But as you will understand, science and astrology and God all are one collective energy that makes us who we are today. Remember that. Let no one downplay that alchemist alchemy, alchemistic side of you, that magic part of you, that spiritual part of you, that God says who you are and who he is in you is though he's the greatest one within that you are the greatest one outwardly. Okay? So take that for what you know. Go with it. Flow with it. And raise your vibration. Raise your consciousness. Get rid of, if you can, don't get rid of the old beliefs, but acclimatize those beliefs. Acclimate those beliefs. Those old beliefs, override them, transmute them into something new that you can use to help you. Have you ever had a thought of someone and they called you? That's the vibrational of a higher consciousness that you made that person call you. <laughs> that's magic that's the anointing that is intuition <laughs> as we were all just put it all together and realize you're the greatest person on this earth that God has alchemated and to become the most greatest alchemist in your life because he knew he knew that there will always be trouble but always understand that trouble don't last always. You know why? Because you're the greatest alchemist. You're the greatest person that can change your situation just with a thought. Raise that vibration. Raise your consciousness. Become the most happiest person that you can ever be in your life through being an alchemist. Don't shun it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of the world anointing. Don't be afraid of the one of chosen. You have been chosen for a particular task, a particular purpose. And you're to acclimate into that and become that and be that. So go and be that. Go and experience that. You can do it. Go be blessed. Thank you for listening and tuning in to Spiritual Walkers channel. Goodbye.